Hello everyone, I'm Steel. And I'm Teal. And we're with Studio Blue. In today's RPG Maker Let's Play, we take a look at Legends of Astrovia by Jaden. All right, Jaden, thank you so much for supporting us. Um, I will say I love this opening map area, although it kind of took me a couple of seconds while we were setting up the studio equipment to realize that those weird characters are what you currently have selected. And to me, that's a little misleading. What do you think, Teal? Oh, that's very unique. On the one hand, I really like it. It is unique and different. And if it points to something, some kind of, of ancient culture or some ancient language in your game, this is brilliant. Uh huh. Otherwise, why do it? Yeah. Honestly. And if you're going to keep it because of the reasons Teal says, which are very good reasons, Give a little hand or an arrow or maybe two arrows pointing oh, to the... Oh, yeah, a little arrow. That would be nice. Just so us dumbasses will know what we're looking at. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and jump in. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll show the credits. Hey, I actually... I'm digging this music. Yeah. It's very soothing. It really is. I like the credits too, Jaden. Cool. Looks good. Good job on that. All right. Oh, we have a nice little splash screen because you got to see that. <laughs> hmm. Alright. Alright, let's make this happen. New game. Do, do, do. Ooh. Oh, sweet. <laughs> so, you I'm can... reading the controls. How do we like your bells? You can choose to stop the flow. Oh, okay. Cancel menu, escape, switch. Oh, we're going to be doing active battle. Ooh. ABS. Ooh. <laughs> A thing that RPG Maker is not meant for. All right, let's see. So D is confirm, S uh -huh. is escape menu, switch ally, more details. Is this, this Mog Hunter or Blitz? I never remember which one it is. Okay. Um, how do I want battles? We can choose stop full of battle by selecting commands. Oh, we're stopping battle by oh, selecting commands. Oh, we're stopping yeah. the battle. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So wait. Wait. No, let's No, let's I want to see the opening cutscene. <laughs> Absolutely. To me, that sets the tone for the entire game. It was only a century ago that the world was destined to die. Prophecies predicted a malevolent force of mystic energy capable of causing extreme destruction, but the people of Astrovia were reluctant to believe it. That was the Great Cataclysm. <laughs> And its mere emergence began to break the world apart. Ooh. So the beginning of the cataclysm began a cataclysm. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Oh. Ooh. Sweet. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> Tsunamis crashed upon the shores. Mountains erupted. And the world quaked with inevitable defeat. Yet, when the hour of reckoning was to take place, two heroes emerged. Using their mastery of the mystic forces, they stopped the great cataclysm from coming to fruition. Just as their deed was completed, the mysticians vanished, consumed by the power needed to hold the great cataclysm at bay. The mystics. It's okay. called mystics, not mysticians. Yeah. Mystics. Yeah. So it sounds like they basically were consumed by the very energy they used? It sounds like it. They sacrificed themselves. All right. The people of Astrovia held them as legends for their sacrifice. However, there's always one of those. I know. The people's salvation was not enough to save them from discord. An imbalance of power between the Knights of Valica and the Mysticians of Anatus erupted. He's going to use that word, Mysticians, whether we like it or not. 
A vicious war ensued and countless deaths could not be prevented. Years passed and the war finally saw its end, the two kingdoms forming a reluctant treaty. Why was it reluctant? For a short while, it seemed Astravia would see peace. Yet it would not be long before the casualties of war would brew hatred and malice. And the Grim Reaper took the Iron Throne. Legends of Astravia. Chapter 1. Where's my ramen? Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Did you hear about Bymir? Huh? No, what happened? Hmm. It was horrific. Murder. Mass murder. <laughs> what are your qualifications? Rape, horse thieving, rape, beating women, rape. <laughs> you said rape three times. I like rape. Okay. And that is Which a from, quote from, from Blazing, Blazing Saddles. Saddles. Not a philosophy. <clears throat> Everyone there was killed. Even the cats. Even the cats. Poor little cats. What? Not another cat war. <laughs> no. It doesn't seem that way. There, that's the terrifying part. Okay, I'm going to comment on that second. It was no army that did this. So, wouldn't it be less terrifying if it was not an armed force that caused death? Let's see what happens. Okay. They think it may have been a single person that wiped out that entire village. Question has been answered. Never mind. That's very scary. How? Hmm. I don't think I want to know. It's him. It has to be. He's alive. This might be my chance. Toodle, 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 toodle. Running in place, running in place, running in place. Ah! What the hell was that? Run. Yeah. They're so cute. Oh. Hmm. Hide. Oh, do 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 I found him in the swamps in shut shape. I think he was mugged. He's not dead yet. Boy, you are right. Can you remember your name? <laughs> what kind of name is? <laughs> it's only like this we turn your game into a Monty Python skit. Oh, his name is Oliver. Cool. I can deal with that. Oliver. Oliver. Nice name, Oliver. Oliver, I think. Oliver, it's all right now. You must rest. Watchy. <laughs> What's become of Astravia? In innocent Coria, you beat you down like this. I had a joke, but it wasn't appropriate. Yeah. For even for me. Three months later. Nice. Only three. Bill don't have control. Oh, but we have goats. Jogging in place, jogging in place, jogging We have goats. We do, we have goats. <laughs> That's it, don't hold back now. Oh, all right. Oh, you nice. I reckon you got it down. Do you want to practice some more? I smell tutorial battle. Tutorial! All right. 
Can we pet the goats? Tutorial battle. All right. All right, this is it. I'm gonna teach you how to fight using the battle system. First order of business, the bar below us. Yes. Thank you. Uh huh. You are okay with breaking the fourth wall to some extent. It's a That's tutorial. Fine. It's a tutorial. It's, a tutorial. it's acceptable. Yeah. Plus, you're using the battle engine with instructions to mm -hmm. teach us how to fight like a lot of the games we love, so good yeah. job. Yeah, it's critical. It's the time bar. It determines who's next to take action. Sweet. Pay attention. Once you use your turn, you return back to the beginning of the bar. Then your opponent gets to throw some hits in. Once your turn comes up, you can choose a variety of actions. If things are looking rough, you can escape by pressing the cancel key when it's your turn. But I don't need you leaving the lesson early, so I'm disabling escape, motherfucker. <laughs> Go on. Give me your best shot. Don't hold back. I love it's a boxing glove, meaning it's, it's now your turn. It's so cute! You can attack, you can unleash, you can hit him, you can defend, you can attack. Okay. Smack. Uh, with the punch. I like how the symbols are intuitive. Oh my god, I go! Yeah! Mm -hmm. Seriously, right? Okay, here we go. Schmink. Baldrick defends. Give him a nut shot. Alright, kick him in the balls. Good, bottom of the screen displays your vials. I'm sure you know LA means life energy. Yep. When I hit zero, it takes. Hmm. Emmy is mystic energy. Everyone has a little of it and can use it to unleash special abilities. Some folks are a bit more gifted and can use it to cast spells. I'm not one of them. Yeah. The last bar is your fury gauge. Ooh. When it fills up all the way, you can select Unleash to use a special skill called your Awakening. Hey. Yeah. Well, you're not going to try and practice that. Uh, that won't keep me head. Yeah. I have a wife to go home to. Thank you. <laughs> I yeah. love it. I love it. At least you change a few more blows, hits, until you're comfortable. Me. Boo. That was a shin kick. That was. So rebounds our fury. Okay. Okay. Oh, what's our uh, S, right? Yeah, okay. <sighs> Hit him. There we go. Two and a whole two point of damage. Baldrick defends. Schmick. Schmick. Neat. I don't know what the hell that was. It was a, like a scurry back and a scurry forward. <laughs> the thing is, it's it's um yeah. If you're sp if you're a faster speed, yeah. you're gonna go quicker. That's nice. I like that visual a lot. Speed is king in those yeah. uh, ATBs. Okay, that wraps it up. Oh, it wraps you up. Looks like it took a little beating from me. You didn't land a single punch, you motherfucker. Eh. Uh, sorry, Jaden. Gotta change that. No one. Baldrick defended the whole time. I would have him say, Hey, you scuffed me armor a little. Ha <laughs> Well, you still got quite a bit better, so here's a little gift. Obtain Strike Essence. Yeah. You know how I use it, yeah? It's an essence that gives you special abilities. I got some books in the basement if you need a refresher. But I reckon you got a hand on this combat thing now. Do you really think? Okay, so, um... Mm -hmm. Just so you avoid going a tropey route, I would say, hey, I've been monitoring your progress for a while, so here's your strike essence. I think you're ready for it. As opposed to, yeah, that was a good bit of a scuffle. Here's yeah. a new skill. <laughs> you really think so? Yeah, it's been several months since I've seen your body beaten up and bloody in the swamp north of here. Just reminded you of that in case you forgot. So, yeah, if since it has been three months, yeah. I definitely recommend changing the dialogue to say... You've really improved. Here's something for you. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it'll make you even better now. Right. You know, you're ready for this, so here you go. Yeah. Okay. You really, yeah, <clears throat> you really figured out how to wield a sword since then. Right. I wish I could say the same about my memory. I still can't remember much. I mean, I know I'm the chosen one, but... <laughs> Well, we both know you stuck, you're a stuck-up city boy from Val Valicia. Ah, we know that. Ha 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 ha. About time you hit one that was the most random fucking thing. How do you know that? I don't Stuck-up boy from Val... Is well, this his clothes? We, well, dude, it's been three months. They probably talked. 
a lot over, but he, over supper. But Jaden has no memory. I'm looking at it from a writer's perspective. Uh, Jaden has no memory. Oh. How would know. Baldrick know that Jaden's from, uh, from Valicia? Unless his clothes are Valician silk or something? Maybe his accent, his clothes. Something, yes. Mannerisms. I mean, just whatever. Give us something. You should prepare tonight and make your journey back tomorrow. Wait, you're kicking me out? Yeah. Well, lock the eastern gate for you. First thing you wanted. All right, thanks, Baldrick. <laughs> <laughs> For everything. <laughs> Don't get going all shappy on me now, boy. I already got a wife for that nonsense. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God damn goats. <laughs> well, I see. You might need these to keep track of things. Obtained the journal. You can take a look at it as your menu by pressing the cancel key. Thank you. Make sure you fully prepared by the morning. I mean, just go to that item shop and get some bloody items. Seriously, right? Yeah. Journal updated. Morden Village. <laughs> okay, so... A um, couple of key points. Characters need agency. And I'm glad that Oliver has the agency to move forward in the story. Yeah. But I don't know why. He's got no memories from what you've said with that one line of dialogue and it's been three months and there's been no recovery. Why is he heading out? And if he's heading to Valicia, then that goes back to how do we know he's from Valicia? Yeah, I so agree. So we need to have some logical reasoning as to why this amnesiac is going to leave Baldrick's care yeah. and why Baldrick is going to allow it. It's This is, this is pretty much just, it's time to go on your quest. <laughs> Yeah, it is. I just that doesn't make sense. No. You just don't unleash an injured person like that out right. in the world. That's rather frightening. That goat is walking right into the fence. It is. It is. It is a. It, it's a hungry goat. It's a hungry goat. Oh, he wants some food. He wants some food. All right, let's save. Save, savey, save. System. No save. Okay, so we have save pointies. Okay. Yeah, somewhere in there, probably a goat. Just Fine. Goat. So also, it's been fifteen minutes. We'll give you about two minutes and some change because we comment and stuff. But it's over ten minutes from the moment I hit new game. Yeah. Before I actually have the ability to start fighting and start doing anything. And about 12 to 15 minutes between the starting of a new game and being able to move the character, that's a bit long. It is long. Um, and I think you can cut a lot of it down with your really well done but unnecessarily long prologue. I agree. Very well done. Mm-hmm. Rather long. Rather long. Okay, so now we are going to... Oh, you got a little uh, light source on yeah, you. Yeah, you got a lantern. Sweet. I'm going to go pet the goat. Yes. Yay. I <laughs> know uh, what Teal's going to be doing the whole night. <laughs> playing goats. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that all night. Hi, I'm an item shop. It's late at night, but I'm still open. Hee <laughs> hee. Hello, Oliver. Would you like to look at what I have for sale today? Yes, please. Yes, please. We have 500, 500. money, so... Yay. How did I get that money? You know, it's not that, you know that is something I, we you don't know usually think I about. I don't care. I don't care. I'm glad we have 500 money. Everybody, start off your people with 500 money so that we can buy shit from the item menu. Okay? Thank you. I say eyeballing Rosenhearts. Um... <laughs> Although we need an ex we need an explanation for this was it's if this isn't what he had on him he was robbed, so there needs to be some valid reason why he would have money on him. I mean it's okay for Baldrick to go hey here's some money so you don't go out in the world without it try not to get mugged again. There you go that would be funny actually. <laughs> All right bottled milk bottled milk mm. oh, yeah. goat cheese warm bread mm. oh, hearty meat cheese mm. hearty mm. meats. Mm. Mm. Apples, mm. tree nuts, mystic fruit. Phoenix feather. Yeah. Keeps you warm at night. Yeah. Antidote herb. Yes. Okay. Uh, I want I want one of each, please. Oh my. Shall we buy this first or do we want to look at the, see if there's an equipment shop? Let's see if there's an equipment shop. Yep. But, oh, now I'm hungry for some bread, cheese, and apples. Ah, oh, look at that morality. I love it. Nice. Very good. Cool. Good job. And you see this? Look at that submission point. Yeah. Look at that. That's very, Brilliant. very cool. Thank you. So I don't feel like I'm wasting my time doing all this shit. 
Oh wow! I actually can go down there. Um, look how they the map is designed. Yeah. With the hanging lanterns. Yes. A lot of people don't do that. They don't. And I think the extra programming is worth it. Agreed. Because, wow, it really adds to this scene. Jaden, let us know if this is parallax mapping in VX Ace. I think it is, and if that's the case, kudos because yeah, it really looks good. This is some very attractive mapping. Yeah. Hoy, Araba! It's a little boy. Do you want to know a secret? Yes. Well, I can't tell you. Come back later. Ah. Come on, Paul. I kick him in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> Something cooking, but it doesn't really smell like anything. Uh, it's called laundry. Yeah. Because people used to do their laundry over their fire. This is such a I neat love it. little map. Look I at love this. this. Oh, very well done, sir. And it's not a box. These aren't boxes. Yay. Okay. Um, okay. So that is Eastgate oh, that we're not going to... Right, go. we're not going to bother with it. Look at that. You have a little stone wall. Very yes. realistic to keep uh, the, the little animals out. Very well done. Very, very well done. Oh, here's our... There's our little uh, item. Weapon weapon shop, excuse me. Oh, little shmee. Oh, my journal had updated. I don't know what I did. Dude, we can craft. Awesome. Yes. Let's shop. Yeah, let's shop first. So we buy Morden Blade. We're going to need that, I think. Armor, also need that. Yeah. An element. Wow. Yeah. So this puts us at a bit of a crossroads. And uh, I... I always feel this way whenever a game starts off in a starting town, which a lot of the games we do look at do that. Right. And we start off with no idea as to whether or not we're going to get X, Y, or Z. That's true. So then I spend money on something and we're given it five minutes later and I bitch about it. I actually hate that too. Yeah. It's a waste of our resources. It is. So, I'm actually going to recommend this not just to you, Jaden, but to everybody. If you have a starting town, either... And the game starts there. Mm -hmm. Either don't have, like, this smithy here with all this stuff that we'd be tempted to spend our money on and mm -hmm. give us equipment... Or just give us equipment and have no smithy at all. Have the smithy just say, oh, I don't have anything for sale here, but here's a horseshoe. That kind of thing. Right. Because blacksmiths did more than just armor. Yes, they did. They did pretty much everything that involved metal. There was horseshoes, nails. Mm -hmm. Hinges. Hinges. Uh, pipes, uh, stoves. You know, mm -hmm. someone had to make the stove. It was a blacksmith that made the stove. Yeah. So I would actually get rid of it. Now, if you want to include an armorer, weapon salesman in your, in your starting town, mm -hmm. then have the quest initiator, even if it's, if it's a person or the PC himself, the protagonist himself, go, I should probably go buy Barney's blacksmith shop and buy some equipment. Yeah. And that will alleviate the big problem that Teal and I have seen with a number of games where we have a starting town, we spend equip we spend money on equipment, and uh -huh. then we're given that blade five minutes later. Oh, I hate that. So I'm not gonna buy anything right now. I'm instead gonna go my dad's oh there it is. I'm yeah. gonna go to bed. Yeah. And check Here's the well. well. Here's the well. Nothing in the well. Oh, missed opportunity! <laughs> but what I will do is in the morning. Once I have a chance to save my game, mm -hmm. and it looks like we're not going to be given any equipment, then I'll buy something. Okay. That's fair. And there's a little child playing there inside. Is. By the way, we have a training sword, a circlet, and a tunic. And here's an essence which we're going to use. Where's that sword essence? Oh, we have a sword. Oh, that we is do. a sword essence. Oh, it's called Strike. Oh, okay. So we're given it, and we've already used it. Um, just let us know that in the dialogue with Baldrick. Okay. Talking to a little kid? Yeah. Hi, Hi Oliver. <laughs> Hi, Jenna. Are you having fun? I'm looking for bugs. Ew. Um, I mean, how nice. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Children. She's adorable. She is. Very cute. And this is a tailor or a pub? It's a pub. Because that's a piano. Right. Because... <laughs> Good job, Teal. <laughs> All goddamn pubs have goddamn pianos. <laughs> This this is, <laughs> and they're all really nice black lacquered lacquered, p 
pianos. No one has a dingy old upright you find in the old west anymore. I just want to tell you something. That all these medieval fantasy RPGs have pianos that were built in the 1880s. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> okay, um, moving on. Which, by the way, just a quick note. This actually says a lot about the technology level of the world. Because pianos aren't easy to make. No, they're not. They didn't exist before the uh, 1600s. Yeah. I think the harpsichord was the uh, the opening portion, mm -hmm. and then they moved on to the piano, I believe. Yeah, the piano okay, fort. Whatever. The piano fort, yeah. Okay, what am I doing? Hello, Oliver Baldrick told me about your journey. How about a drink on the house? Sure. Let's get drunk before we go. That's right. <laughs> you feel a rush of vigor as you gulp down the foamy drink. Yay. It's a foamy. Hey, now we're going to play. Foamy! My piano skills are not particularly good. That's yes, because you've been drinking. Yeah. I helped Daryl out by maintaining the form out, mate. It has been a really tough season for crops. Crops. Not with the weather, but rather it seems someone or something keeps destroyed. That's a big fucking deal. Wow. I'm going to make light of it. He's going to get drunk because he's tired of dealing with it. Yeah. Finally make your way back home, eh, Oliver? My wife, John, runs the shop on the eastern part of the village. Make sure you check with her before you venture off. Okay. She's the one who is selling goat cheese. Yeah. All right, here, here, here. Oh wait, what's? How do I get there? Over here. What's like roundabout shit? What the fuck? Oh okay. Okay, I, I guessed. House. I guessed so hard because see this path right here. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. It's hard to see. Yeah. Yeah. Give us some marker or something. Just a little something. Like I said, first dumbasses. All right. Let's talk to Home Skillet right here. It's Home Skillet. Oh, Oliver, I'm glad to see you. You'll be journeying to Valicia soon. Before you set off, do you think I could ask a favor of you? Well, the thing is, it's me and my wife, uh, Antoinette, really, 30th anniversary soon, and I can't figure out a gift for her. Could you quietly ask around the village and see if you can get any ideas? I'd be indebted to you. Because after 30 years of marriage, you pretty much have everything. Yeah. In fact, I do believe I have something that will be useful, bolded for some unknown reason, uh -huh. to you on your journey, should you be successful. Instead, I'm going to go out and answer and then ask her exactly what she yeah. wants. What do you need? What do you want? Cleaning and laundry. It's all I ever do. Oh, okay. Well, oh, I'll go uh, get the treasure chest. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get that, too. I found aluminum chest. Whoa! Channel. You can actually check barrels? I can. That exclamation point is so helpful. Other developers, take note. Well, we should oh. check all the barrels in the village, then. Hello? Yeah, right. Check barrels and dressers and all kinds of shit for thievery. Yeah. Nothing interesting. Okay, done, moving on. Mm, oh, books. Books. Chapter 1, World Origin. I'm not doing this. Hey guys, you can pause and read. He yeah. has lore. Lore is good. Lore is very good. Lore is very, very good. So feel free to pause and read on your own. Yeah. We will do that later on ourselves. Okay, so evidently it is called Mysticians in this okay. game and not Mystics. Okay. So uh, I'm fine. What? I Where rescind what I said. Absolutely. Because that's the name of a valid group. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. And we have the founding of Alicia. Yay, move on. It, I think it's Valica. Valica, whatever. Oh, okay. Sweet, we can read it anytime we want now. I love it. Very good. Lore is awesome. La 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 la. Just checking barrels. La 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 la. Hi, Oliver. Hey, Jenna, are you having fun? I'm looking for bags. Eh, I mean, how nice. Buggy bug bugs. Doesn't talk. Mm. Oh, what's this? That's uh, what are those? This is a save point. When you step on it, allows you to save your progress. Cool. Sweet. It's like a little uh, Vesper, you know, a little thing. That's nice. Princess Vesper. Ugh, no. But that's a neat scarecrow. That is. In your garden. That is very nice. Yeah. I like scarecrows. Yeah. You should have a dialogue when he approaches it and does set, you know, press X or whatever, it goes boo. Yeah. Okay, let's talk to the old man. Hello, Oliver. I'm not quite ready to be constructing the rules, but I did hear you're departing for Valica soon. 
Perhaps if you return, I will be able to brew some potions for you to use on your journey. Would you like a preview of what I will be showing? Mm-hmm. Yes. Ah, your forge. Crafty. Nice. 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 Cool. Love the craft. You can extract. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool indeed. I shall be exploring this crafting system. Yes. So I can be very crafty. Yes. And you, you said, you said, um, you said probably press X on all the boxes. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Steel doesn't do that. No. If y'all were expecting I have a video to make. stuff like that. <laughs> we got ghost cheese. You like the ghost cheese? You know what? what? I have nothing to say to you. Yeah. And we got silver. You know what? I still have nothing to say to you. We have silver now. That's neat. Steel I'm actually... doesn't normally do this kind of stuff unless I prompt him. Yeah. And, uh, Teal's an egg, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so silver being the main metal is actually pretty awesome yes, because how often do we see gold? Too often. And Gold's boring, gold overrated. Boring. Yeah. I like silver. Yeah. And silver's a more silver is a more common metal in comparison to gold, so yeah. it makes sense for that to be your uh, metal of choice. Absolutely, Smurfly. All right, let's talk to Baldrack. I can't let you out tonight. If you think prepared enough, get some rest downstairs and I'll unlock the eastern gate first thing tomorrow morning. Yay! Let's go talk to Edith. <clears throat> well, hello, Oliver. Are you feeling better? Yes, I am. Good, I'm glad. Please don't hesitate to ask if you need anything from us. Okay. The am oh, where am I? The amnesia makes it hard, doesn't it? This is Morden Village, a small town on the west of the Volica continent. There is a swamp north of here, and to the rest are a large stretch of pines leading to Volica City, the continent's capital. You have a large journey ahead of you tomorrow, so please make sure you are well prepared. Is there anything else? Preparations? Baldrick wants to make sure you are well prepared for your tomorrow. You should make sure you visit the two shops here in town first. So that needs to be imparted before we start running around blowing money. The blacksmith lives to the south of here and the general store is to the east. Is there anything else? I'm okay. Good. I'm very glad. All right. Now we know to go shopping. That's it. We're good. Yeah. So, let me save one more time because we're about to blow some silver. Let's blow our 800 silver. Mm-hmm. We save first. In case we blow it in the wrong stuff. Oh, I'm looking at those gorgeous red mushrooms. I know. They're really <gasps> nice. Those are very nice. And I love the yes. real red glow using the lighting plug-in effect. That's awesome. Okay, let us have some fun. I've got to say, this is a very nice map. It is very nice. No problem with the level design on my end. Mm -mm. You've got everything down from the basic layout to asset use, lighting. Very nicely done. Very much so. I will say this, um, you do need to watch building shapes. Everyone needs to watch building yes, shapes. Yeah, that's true. Interior and exteriors need to match. For example, this is oblong, correct? Yeah. And the interior has that weird wow. pinched thing going yeah. on in the middle. That wouldn't actually work because it would actually weaken the structure. Yeah. So I would just, where it pinches in, I would just remove that and have that all be counter space or whatever. It's great that you're dividing it and trying to have it not be boxy. Yeah. But the interior and the exterior don't match. And it just, it, it, that extra step helps. Yeah. Plus the doors on the right side and the door on the outside is in the middle. Yep, that's these, another little these, little issue, little yeah. detail. Just pay attention to your details. And, and, and these are things that Teal and I see on a lot of the games we do. It's just a lot of times we're so busy critiquing story, characters, etc. Oh, yeah. That we don't point out these little details. So this is retroactive to everyone we've ever critiqued. With you, Jaden, it just so happens that we are noticing this because we don't have a whole lot of problems with everything else. Everything else is so good. Yeah. Okay, so we go talk to him. The mayor's wife. Oh, finally. Oh, the nice. mayor's wife? 
Wahahaha! Not really my department. Do you want to look at my wares or craft equipment? Let's. Who's crafting work? Oh, it's the same thing, okay. Alright. Yay. Shopping? Shopping! Alright, so. We have 800 gold. We can buy either upgrade our armor first and have our sword be eh, or we could go yay on the sword and eh on the armor. What do you think? Oh, I'm all about uh, blowing it on the sword. Blow it on the sword. Oh then yeah. Use the other 300 for uh, other stuff. Yeah. Okay. It can't hurt you if it's dead. True story. One Morden blade. And then we got an equip. Equip it. That is nice. Now we can. Well, we can. Oh, I wonder if we can break down the training sword into its components. I don't know. Extract components. Let's find out. Let us find out. Nope. What? Wait, 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 wait. Go go back on the definition of extract. You're going too fast. Oh, right. Extract materials. Aha! Keep the training sword, because eventually we'll be able to extract materials from it. If it has any, you think? Don't care. Keep a hold of it. Okay. We don't need to sell it right now. All right. And I retract my statement about the, the, the door is in the right place. It's just the size of the building is wrong. Okay, we're good. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, I know we can quibble, but... For me, uh, uh, shape of building is a bigger issue. What do you think? Well, to me, the building looks like a big square, and you got a, a nice big long rectangle inside. Right. So that's actually the bigger issue to me. Not, right. Not so much that wall structure. Yeah, and the door placement is not a deal at all. So oh, I retract that. Okay, let's go buy some goat milk. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna do yeah. that every single time. Ooh. Okay, why are the uh, NPCs walking in place? It, it, it goes, it harkens back to the old uh, Dragon Warrior games uh -huh. for the NES, Dragon Quest, Dragon Warrior. They used to do that, and it's not really a big, I don't like it. I think Final Fantasy 1 did it as well, they and it's did. not really Final a big Fantasy. thing. So, eh, it's a design choice. I don't like it, but if that's what the developer wants to do, more power to him. Okay, so wait, mm, and I know it's a sweet woman, stress, perhaps Lena would know. Okay, Lena it is. Her and Baldrick seem to have a pretty good relationship. Oh, okay. So I go ask the wifey. Okay. Okay. Can I buy your stuff? Yeah, we want stuff. Okay. What, what are we? What are we doing? Asking about the mayor's wife and stuff. I mean, what? What's the point of that? He wanted to know what present to buy her. Oh, see, I already forgot. Yeah. Oops. It's probably in the journal. It is. It is. Okay, so we buy some bottled mm, milk? Yeah, because we need to increase HP. Let's not forget our antidote herbs. Oh my god. I won't forget those. So, I've actually had goat milk before. Hmm. Yeah. Well, this is bottled milk from goats? Yeah, it's goat milk. Okay. I mean, there's nothing that, wrong that, with that. Let but... me tell you, goat milk and cheese, woo, strong. You know you're drinking it. Antidote herbs. Actually, that's M E O. Lord. Man, those Emmy Magic of uh, Rehealing items are ridiculous. Look at that. Holy They're crap. Expensive. I don't know how I feel about that. I would oh. maybe make that. I would maybe be. I would maybe have that be 40. Yeah. And then that could be 75 and that can be 100. Your prices are really high. Yeah, you, you've got bad inflation there, dude. Yeah. Magic wow. curative items shouldn't be that much more expensive. Yeah. Seriously. Okay. Um, we don't have the money to buy mystic fruits and shit. No, we're just going to buy antidote herbs because poison is a bitch. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's we, it. I guess we can go to bed. Well, we got to talk to the girl. Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, Lena. Uh, yeah. Quests. Yep. Help the mayor. Right. Okay. All right. Let's talk to your boy. I'm sorry. Your lady. Yeah. Edith. Edith. Hmm. Oh, I give for Antoinette for their anniversary. Well, whenever I see her, she's always doing some sort of housework. If I were in her position, a reason to take a break would be nice. I know how swept up she gets. Maybe that insight will help Grant? Perhaps you should suggest that he take her out for the evening. Yeah, you know, and this this town and the way it's built has got so many options for Grant. Yeah. You have the East, North, and West Bridge. So many options. So many options. <laughs> and the asshole of the year award goes to steal. <laughs> 
fight with my hand right now to keep from laughing. I killed Teal. Okay, here we go. Here we go. The mayor. Grant, I know you've been trying to find her some material gifts, but I think you've been looking in the wrong places. To look inside your heart. Have you considered just giving her some company? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And the jokes begin in the comments section. Oh, I'll give my wife company every night. <laughs> Alright, I, I, I never thought of such a thing. I tried to give her unique and exotic gifts, but I never thought she'd just care to see me. After 30, 30 fucking years? years? Of marriage? <laughs> <laughs> you, what? you jaded fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it's worth a try. I could <laughs> look at my wife. <laughs> I'm dying! <laughs> um, okay. So, wow. yeah, this guy's an asshole. <laughs> He's just clueless! <laughs> gonna go outside and say, Hi, I'm your husband. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God! She's your right <laughs> 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 This is very adult. This is an adult game. <laughs> well, I certainly did it. We're going on a date tonight. <laughs> now get out, Oliver. I've got work to do. <laughs> I got some dating to do. There's <laughs> some real good dating. Oh, shit. Oh, I've never seen her so pleased. I give you the work. Please help yourself to the contents of the chest down back. I'm sure it'll be a great use to you. Now get out. Oliver, thank you for all that you do for the village. I wish you the best. What? What did he fucking do? He, he asks a girl about eating bugs and he helps some dude <laughs> hook up with his wife? <laughs> Oliver, don't do shit. <laughs> but it's Oliver. Oh, God. It's Oliver. <laughs> Where's Faden? Fagan. Yeah. You he receive? What? Oh, five potions. Good, good. Okay, okay. Missing. Okay, good, okay, good, good. Okay. Hey. I'm going to kill somebody. Convolution. 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 Oh. This is exactly what I was talking about. Take two. Take two. I'm just gonna zoom here and oh yeah, building on the outside and ooh, pinched on the inside like the nerves in my heart. Uh, no, I don't want to look at shit. Pinched Goodbye. like my brow is pinched right now. Thank you. And over here, yay, yeah, goat cheese. Mm, meh, meh, meh. And I talk to her and whatever. And uh, no, I don't want to deal with your shit right now. And then we go over no, no, no. here. This is called a speed run. Mm hmm. Yeah. Talk to Edith. Yeah. Oh, watchy. Bye. <laughs> I'm actually. A, oh, never mind. Okay. Nope. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. We're... Made my point. Yeah, we, 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 we. Insert the rant. Rant's already been given. Yeah. I've already stormed off to the liquor cabinet and got the whiskey. <sighs> Look at that. Da, 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 da. Okay. So, we get the wonderful treasure that we didn't have to buy. Yeah. There we go. Hey. Awesome. We're equipping the sword that we didn't have to buy. That's right. That's right. Just nailing that point home. Mm. All right. So now we can, I guess, use our money to uh, buy other... Armor. Armor. Yeah. Yeah, armor. Instead of wearing cloth, we can wear wood. Because that's what people do. They wear wood. Got wood? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we just want to shop and Okay, buy. so wooden armor. Yep. One. Yeah. Wooden helmet. One. One. Wooden shield. One. One. Here we go. And now I'm going to go buy some poison herbs. Yes, because we need poison herbs. Mm-hmm. I have the best basic loadout for the game. I 
think. Sure. But do. There we go. Yeah. All right. That's it. Go save. Yeah. Equip everything and then go save. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I should do that. Equip. Thank you, Teal. You're welcome. We just keep all those because we're mm -hmm. going to extract materials from them later when we get the crafting mm -hmm. system. Savey, save, save. I'm going to save over here in case for some reason as I'm leaving the village he gives me some wooden fucking armor. Just yeah. saying. I'm not better. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's the old man's house. Yeah. yeah go back here. Deep -a deep -a dee, derpy derp. And bed downstairs. Bed is downstairs. Mm. Save point there too. Look at nice. that save point right there. How convenient. Look at that convenient save point. I like it. I suppose it's time to get some rest. I leave for Valica tomorrow morning with still no explanation as to why. Sleep until morning? Yes. Nice. Ah! Daryl! It's Ginny Baldrick. It's Ginny Baldrick. Something snatched her up and dragged her into Morty's swamps. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Almost made a dirty joke. Damn. I'll go look for her. This village is blessed to have you, Baldrick. Come show me. I'll show you the tracks. Oh my god. This guy. This fucking Dar Daryl guy. Everybody's blessed. The village is blessed to have everyone. Yes. The village is blessed to have everyone, including the bug-eating girl. Well, see, there's there's a, a holy book up there on the table, so yeah. they're obviously rather devout. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, I've mentioned this to other people on our Discord server before. That holy book, if you look close, has a cross on it. Yeah, it does. That instantly means Christianity. Yep. Does your world have a variant of Christianity? If not, go into the RTP or the whatever that is mm -hmm. and change the symbol. Yeah. Don't put a cross on a non-Christian book. It It's too easily identifiable since it's one of the biggest religions in the world. Right. Thank All you. Right. <clears throat> okay. Well, you know, make sure Icarus doesn't come looking. Who the fuck is Icarus? I don't know who Icarus is. I don't is. want to. Uh. Huh? Oliver. Make sure Oliver stays here. Okay. A little something going on. Uh-huh. Baldrick. <clears throat> He's in the dark. Ooh. Whoa. That was neat. That was cool. Oh. Oliver. Last night, Jenna was kidnapped. Baldrick went after her, but he hasn't returned. He said not to talk to you, but I'm concerned for his safety. All of this while I was asleep? Mina, I will investigate this. Baldrick is a strong man. I wouldn't. Why does he like he's falling asleep? Because he just woke <laughs> up. He's tired. He's sleepy. Would, would you. Have all that energy if you first wake up, which I know you don't. True story. I have nothing to say. Journal updated. You know, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Teal, let's talk about this for a second. Let's oh. talk about that. Um. Uh huh. So Baldrick has been training Oliver, and Oliver is a competent fighter. Yeah. Maybe not as good as Baldrick, but he's competent. Why would Baldrick not wake him up? To come help look for a missing person that could have gotten kidnapped in a swamp. A little girl at that. I mean, if it's a little girl, is it? Little, I, if it's I, a child, Jenna was a little little girl. Was okay. The little bug bug hunting girl. Okay. So it's a child. So all the men in the village are going to run out there. Yeah. And try to find her. Yeah. It, it seems to me that something of this magnitude would 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 be almost witch hunt level. You know, you'd have like a posse going out there with. Torches and pitchforks and shit. Looking to, for this kid to look for for the girl. Yes. Yeah. This actually, I'm gonna have to go ahead and say, uh, Jaden, this doesn't work. 
Yeah, let's see how it plays yeah. out. But initially, but yeah, right now I don't agree with how it's set up either. I agree completely. I agree with you not agreeing. Um, let's see what happens. Okay. And she's back in the kitchen instead of worrying about her husband. Well, oh. of, uh, please find Baldrick and Jenna. I pray to the goddess for their safety. Where the fuck did the book go? The book is gone. <laughs> Dude. Does she have the book? The book is gone. Okay. Where's that, the book? That is utterly inexplicable. Whoa! Utterly inexplicable. Um, I hope they get to dress at some point. Okay. And it's raining. Ooh! Hey. Pretty. I'll give you that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so the gate. I need to find Baldrick and Jenna. Yeah, you can't go that way because oh. it's blocked. Right. So where do I go? I guess I go to the west. Nope. I think you go north. I'll talk to this guy. Maybe, yeah, maybe talk he... to this guy. Oliver, it's tragic what happened to Gerald's daughter, Jenna. I wish you the best of luck in finding her. His wife is still in bed. Well. <laughs> he Boy, did he, uh, mm, mm -hmm. he uh, took care of business last night. He did. No, you can press him for information on where to go. Uh, the innkeeper's going to know everything. Well, that's the father. Oh, the father. And, 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 and the father, he's too distraught. I would have the father be like, please go help my daughter. She went exactly here. She was snatched here. I'm going to make my way back home. Hey, Oliver, dialogue needs to change, change based on what's happened in the town. Yes. I'm sorry, but why wouldn't the father be out there looking for his daughter? Exactly. He shouldn't even he shouldn't even be here. Exactly. He shouldn't even be here. Yeah. Have the wife be there. Right. And if there is no wife, the the inn is shut down. Yeah, the inn is shut down. Yes, I agree. Yep. What is that? He's digging a groove. Awful what happened to Jenna. I overheard Baldrick and her father Daryl in the inn last night. Sounds like Baldrick went looking for her in the swamps just north of here. Make sure to prepare properly if you head that way. Thank you. Okay, cool. Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Okay. Ah, the warden swamps. swamps. All right, and we have on-screen enemies. Little mushrooms. Right? It is a bouncing mushroom. It is. <gasps> it's not a slime, but it is cute. Oh, it's very cute little bouncing mushroom. Let's kill it. Yeah, get it. What is this thing? Baldrick mentioned Morden's swamp was dangerous lately. I should run away and recollect myself at the village if things get bad. Okay. I won't beat the shut. But it's, it's a cute little mushroom. mushroom. Whoa! Yeah, mushroom is what it is. Woohoo! Yeah. A dark, dark crystal. crystal. Need yeah. a gelfling. That was a decent movie. Yeah. Schmack! There we go. Ooh! Me. <laughs> Schmack! Yeah! Woohoo! We're gonna have mushroom soup. Yay, wait. Yeah, that can be good. That can be good, I'll give it that. Mushroom soup. Ooh, I love. Isn't this cool? I, I, I Isn't actually. This cool? Really digging this design. Yeah. Oh, this is great. I love little bouncing mushrooms. Bouncing mushrooms about to die. And it's a clump of them, too. That's what's so neat about it. Yeah, it's a fungus among us. It's really good. Yeah, the, the vegetation here is, is a nice touch, too. You have the big red flowers, like a big swamp flower. And you uh -huh. have, like, little mushrooms and stuff. Right. Logs. Yeah. Nicely done. Very nicely done. And it looks like when we leveled up, we healed. If that's the case, that's really cool. I love when games do that. Oh, I do, too. Mushroom cap. Okay, let's see what's in the blue chest. You receive a Tome of Fire. Tomes contain essence, the basis for all spells oh, and abilities. Awesome! Oh, okay. Let's do it. Yeah. Yay, I can do stuff. Okay. Yay. Fireball, sweet. And it levels up, see? Okay, I love it. I love that. Yeah, see? Dual strike, triple strike, oh. rapid strike, and then fireball, fire blast, flame typhoon. So we could choose to be either a mage or a fighter. It certainly seems that way, and if that's the case, that's cool. 
I you like that better than the materia that we use in a in Final so Fantasy. So what do you have equipped right now? Uh, fire and strike. Okay. So I'm actually gonna start using them in combat now. But this is cool. Oh wait, I want that. I want to go get that wooden box with the mosquito, or whatever that flying thing is. All right, over here, over here, over here. Ooh. De -de 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 nope, that's a dead end. Sweet. But it's okay. Okay, let's take a look at an essence here. Spell ability. Oh, that is so cool. Yay! Okay. So let's take a look at Fireball. Yeah. You Wait, did that cost a hundred? What? Okay, that's very, very expensive what? for... Wow. Uh-uh, no. That's like, I can use it three times and then that's it? Do I automatically regain it? I'm going to try it just to see what it looks like, but I just... That is not good ROI at all. Oh, yeah. Not even remotely. Let's go heal <sighs> at the save point. Yeah. But, no, you need to rethink those enemy costs. That's just nuts. That's exorbitant. Yeah. We just started out in this game. Why yeah. is things so high? Yeah. Your point, your point economy is not good. Point balancing. Oh, I didn't heal. Crap. See, look at that. It doesn't even... Wow. Ooh. Yeah, so I have no impetus to ever use magic or skills again. Ever. You've just taught me, the player, not to use anything that consumes any. Unless it's a boss fight. So. <sighs> Alright. Hmm. Oh, we got two of them. Okay. Yeah. They're having a picnic. They are having a picnic. And I might try my Unleash now. It's rebound. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's give it a shot and see what it does. Ah! Cool, cool. Alright. I could definitely see that being useful during a boss fight. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> okay. And it looks like you, you don't regain LE if you get hit. Yeah. I mean, there's just don't. no way to regain it. Yeah. I have my Emmy back now, but it's because I leveled up because to level 3. Because you leveled three. up, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. not like I it. mean, are you supposed yeah. to go back to the village and sleep in your bed or what to regain your health? I mean, that just seems like a lot of backtracking and unnecessary passage of time. I agree completely. That will kill all sense of urgency in this opening quest. Yeah. Um, so to fix that, lower the ME cost and balance out your ME. You know, make yeah. it so that your MP has better economy and just overall works better. Yeah. And then um, either have healing, either have save points heal, mm -hmm. which is fine. A lot of a lot of games lot do of that. Games That's do fine. That. Or if you don't want to do that, lower the well. You're going to lower the cost of your MP you healing to. items anyway. You have to, yeah. But make it so that it's easier to get back MP if you want us to spend MP. A really good example is like in the first uh, couple of Final Fantasy games, it's really hard to cast spells. Yep. You know, and then as you get into the later ones, it becomes easier and easier until like, okay, yeah, spellcasters in Final Fantasy games. Same thing with Kingdom Hearts. The first yeah, Kingdom Hearts yeah. game, no one ever spent magic. No, ever, Unless no. it was Cure or Arrow. But um, in the second one, since Sora could heal all his MP back with his mm -hmm. clothes, people would use magic all the time. So, yeah, think about how you want to handle MP in your game. Yeah, if you ever want us to use magic, that is. Exactly. Right now, I don't, yeah, don't want to use it. it. Don't want to touch it. Ooh. Oh, hey! It's a stingy, ouch. <laughs> it's a killer bee, ooh. Our stagger. Africanized bees. Yeah. Oh, those things are vicious. Oh, it's faster than me, too. I gotta kill it fast. Oh, shit. This is... Yeah. Yeah. Hurt. Die, bee, die. Thank you. There you go. I'm gonna have to heal myself, and that's okay. I bet you anything bees give you poison. Probably. I will say this, so far, my opinion that HP balancing has been fine. I haven't noticed anything yet. That's all. Yeah, right here. I will say reserve for when we actually have a um, internal updated. Oh, bestiary. Uh, 
I will reserve judgment for the uh, HP balancing when we actually have um, uh, a boss fight. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that is Emmy. Emmy. Okay, so you are dropping Emmy items, which is good. Yeah. But we need any more. Yeah. Any more. All right. You already healed up because you oh, leveled up. They're... Thank you, sweetie. Okay. okay. Let's make our way. Yeah. Through this. Oh, now there's bees. Yeah, now there's bees. Because you leveled up. By yeah. By the yeah. way. Yeah. I don't know if you saw, but when we were in the west, there was a swath of land on the western end of the I, map I saw that. that I we're saw probably that. never going to go to. Mm -hmm. And if that's the case, that's fine because when you're wandering around a wilderness area, you can't always access everything. That's true. And I don't always agree with game designers who develop their level in like RPG Maker, where it looks like you have to go everywhere on the map. You don't have to. You don't have to. Mm -hmm. Shut off areas are fine. Okay, let's see what Buzz Buzz wants. Buzz Buzz wants me. Oh yeah. Um, oh, What's my, the stingy on the butt? My fury built up really fast, so I'm gonna unleash again. Aha! Sting this. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I love this fury, by the way. This yeah. is so good. Ow! Oh, that is so well done. <laughs> and I feel like I can use it a lot because it builds up really quickly. So it's a regular strategic point. I love yeah. it. <laughs> Mushroom suit. Loot drops are great. I don't have any problem with the loot rate. Warm bread. Mm, mm. Warm bread. And antidote herbs. Good. Oh. So let's take a look at our items here. Yeah. Okay. Good numbers. Good numbers. Yes. These are good numbers. You have definitely parceled out drops really well. Ooh. Ah, I smell boss fight coming. Me too. Warden Forest, Warden Swamp. Oh, wow. Okay. I see. So we'll go there. Aha! Ah. A little more open area now, but still very much a dungeon. Boy, this is such a well-designed level. This Look at this, good. with all the different assets. This is good. Ooh, I should probably try running. I'm gonna try running from this one. Okay. Oh, can I run? I don't see a run. Okay. Nope. You know, I'm okay with not being able to run from battle. That's fine. Uh, let's try... I'll try again. Let's try roasting okay. the killer bee. And, oh, it's on fire! It's okay. burning! Okay! Okay. And the killer bee is casting a spell. I uh, didn't know bees could do that. I guess it's going to cast poison. It's not going to cast nope, nothing. Nope, it's going to cast nothing. <laughs> By the way, we ha I haven't commented much on the music. I do like the music. It's It sets the tone really well. It just fits. I agree. I guess I haven't said much about the music is because... I've heard tracks like this a lot. Yeah. So, it's good. Right. But it doesn't stand out to me in any significant way. I agree completely, Teal. It's, this is not unique, but it's not bad at all. No, it works. It works mm -hmm. exactly for, for its purpose. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah ha ha ha! Hey! Yes. Alumina, 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 shard. Cardinals of Yeah, you remember that. I do. Uh oh! It's a Grundle! No, I have no a, idea. A it's a bog, a bog demon. demon, but it looks like a little bird. A little purple bird. That hits for a lot of damage. Well, you better use your thing. Yeah. Oh, use your use your, your okay, okay, okay. aura thing. Oh, no, defend it. Good. It gives you a chance to put that other thing on. Yeah. No. Yes. Rebound. Hey. <laughs> you go ahead and kick me now. What? All right, fine. We're just gonna smack you to death. Hey! Oh, it turned like pink briefly. It did. I was going. This thing can take some punishment. Very nice detail. Yeah, really cool. How it turns different colors. Okay. 
Oh, and it has a nice bit of H uh, XP it gives. Cool. Journal updated with the Bog Demon. Oh, ink. Aluminum shard. Buzz buzz. Yeah. Oh, oh three shit! buzz buzzes. No, 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 no. Put your rebound thing. Can you put Fury on again? Or you I can't? cannot. Shit. Yeah, it's gonna suck. Uh. Hey, you have me, so I would uh, cast Burning. Yeah. You know, try this. Some abilities, too. See if that helps. The Dual Strike. Ooh, dual Strike might help. Let's see if that works. Let's try Dual Strike on the lead Buzz Buzz. Yeah. And they're going to sting the shit out of me. Ow, 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 ow. Well, that helped. Good. I can even the score a bit. There we go. Yeah, maybe it'll it'll make a difference. Nope. Oh shit. He casting a spell. Yeah, it is. I'm getting weak. I'm gonna have to heal after this next one. You better heal. Yeah, you better. Oh shit. Yeah, time to use an item. Sorry. Bottled milk. That should be more than enough to get me through this fight. Yeah. Hey, that thing is tough. It is. It's. Oh, good. It defended, so. Yay. I won't attack me, but I'll do less damage. Yeah. Die. Thank you. Thank you. Right, but I leveled up, so I get completely healed. I like that you got a bee stinger. That was cool. Oh, we'll find her. Borden mushroom. Mmm. So you can actually. Oh, gosh! It's all those little red mushroom clumps. You could search anything, and I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, okay. I'm really, really thrilled with this. Yeah. This is actually an awesome setup for crafting. It really is. Node gathering. <laughs> Teal's favorite thing, node hunting. Harvesting. Well, I know what I'd be doing in this game. <laughs> to heck with the with the quest. And to heck with that damn bog demon. Forget okay. that noise. Forget bog demons. Let me see if I can get past this guy without fighting him. Aha! Yeah, success! Uh, R. Oh. Here we go. Ah, oh, three of them! How nice! Baldrick! What timing, boy? I should have brought you along with me, but I'm so fucking stupid. <laughs> I can use your hand over here! <laughs> Eek! Stay back, Jenna. Eek. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So I do I actually control Baldrick? I don't know. No, 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 no. I do, yeah. Okay. I actually control him Baldrick. That's cool. <clears throat> Let's see what old Baldy can do. He's got dual strike and double attack. Okay, cool. He has Unleash, which is a rapid strike. Cool. Okay. So it's like an omni slash kind of thing. Alright, well let's start smacking some shit. Yes. <clears throat> Meanwhile, I'm going to unleash. Absolutely. And get some rebound on, because all kinds of bullshit's about to start happening. I like how they uh, turn a different color when they're doing something. I agree. Now, I am going to take a chance that there's no big, huge bog demon that's going to attack us afterwards. Okay. Even though that's likely what's going to happen, and I'm going to spend some of Baldrick's MP. Oh. Because I want to experience this as if I, as a player, was thinking this was the only combat we were going to have. Okay. When logic dictates there's going to be a boss after this. Yeah, because these are just normal right. minions. Exactly. It's okay. I have curative yeah, items. Yeah, yeah, you do. So. so we're good so far. That was some pretty hefty damage there. It is. Baldrick is a badass. We did not get to see that during the prologue yeah. because Baldrick was basically, um, you know, defending the whole time. Yeah. Hit me, boy! Trading. Yeah. Alright, good, good. It's pretty, pretty good fight, though. It is. It is. Well-paced. Baldrick brings enough to the table that I don't feel like I'm overwhelmed with three of these badass enemies. Right. There we go. I like how they jump in the air. That's Yay. cute. With bog demon scales and dark crystals. Oh, nice, nice. 
Whew, your skills have definitely improved. Though, I thought I told Lena to make sure you didn't recklessly trail me into the swamp. We're going to talk about that when this is We're over. We're going to talk about that. Mm. Oh, I'm relieved you came. I was definitely stricken my lush there. Oh, I don't quite have it in me anymore. You're not old, dude. You're not even remotely old. <laughs> What's going on? Why is Morden Swamp full of monsters? I ain't so certain. There's always been the occasional beast, but this is new. Something's off. The air is heavy. And it leaves a certain bad taste in your mouth. And know what these damn things are? They're relentless. Yeah, they are. There's some sort of shrine a bit further north of here. It's always been a mystery, but something tells me it might relate to this madness. Might be worth investigating. But let's get the girl back in there. Oh, no. If he would have said, let's go, I would have <laughs> screamed at you for about a month. <laughs> Thank you for bringing the little kid back home. All right. There's a shortcut to the south. We bet we went that way. Don't want to danger the little one. Oh, there's a shortcut? Oh, yeah, it's right there. Baldrick joins your party. Yeah. Oh, come on. Jenna needs to join the party. Okay. Oh, and we automatically head home. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Well played, sir. Well played. I'm so happy that there's crafting notes. Well played indeed. Yeah, this is so neat. I am definitely going to grab this game and start doing the crafting. <laughs> I can see you doing it, too. Uh-huh. Tome of Jump Attack. Ooh. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Yay. Obtain the Jump Attack Essence. Love it. Is that like a dragoon? Yeah, it's like a dragoon. I'm going to guess. Let's equip the <laughs> Essence. I have no idea. Yeah, I think so. Uh, either that or it hits multiple enemies. Yeah. Which is kind of what Baldrick had. Either way, I'm okay with this. Look at the crafty mm. nodes. Very well done, sir. Uh, you, you have one teal over, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> yes. Mm. Oh, dead end. Sweet. Yeah, normally, I mean, it's like a we'll bitch about dead ends. But a it's short a very, little... very short dead end. Right, and it and it makes sense to the way a place like that would be constructed. Mm -hmm. So it works. Just don't do like dead end mazes. Oh, Ooh, I hate that. All right. Okay, moving on. Ooh, oh. Ta -da. There we go. Aww. Yay, back in Morden Village. Let's give Jenna back to her dad dad. Yes, please. Oh, now we've added butterflies to this. Whee. That's new. I like that. Butterflies. Very nicely done. Hi, Daddy. <gasps> Jenna. My little bean. I'm so glad you're safe. Or. I was really. Oh. It was really scary, but Oliver and Baldrick were so cool. Note in that order Oliver, then Baldrick. Yeah, she likes Oliver. She has a crush on him. God is bless you too. Please take this. I know it will help. Okay. Thanks, Daryl. I know how much her safety means to you. Aww. Now's a good time to take a look at that shrine, yeah? Yeah, let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> Those two! Are they noodle arm? They got noodle arm! Save. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Side. And we go, actually, we're going to save and then we're going to take the shortcut because that's what we do. Yeah. Because shortcuts are meant to be taken. Seriously. Mm hmm. Like, there's never not a reason to take a shortcut. Mushrooms. So yeah. many nodes. Yeah, look at oh. that. <laughs> there you go. There's your mushrooms. Oh, yeah. Yay. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da lo de do de do Ah, we're on a bridge. Yeah. Arr, 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 arr. Bridge. Bridge over bridge the river over fly. <laughs> <laughs> the Mordon Swamps. Yeah. Right, let's go to the... Shrine to the north. I didn't heal, but who gives a shit? 
No error. It's a demo. All right, here we go. Do do do. Ooh. Save. Wow. There's a mysterious cool symbol. No, 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 no. Okay. It Just is. note stuff. That's it. Yeah. And it opens. Ooh. Yes. Sanctuary of the Swamp. Says it's full of blog demons and R-staggers. Seriously, right? He had an exclamation point above his head when he went to that wall. He did. Let's take a look at it. In the key. Ah, yes. You'll retrieve the key in the dungeon bit. Yep. And the other, other ones are blocking that way. These are dicks. Oh my god, yes. I hate these R-staggers. <laughs> ah, yeah, they oh are. my god, they are such coozes. Well, that one wanted, wanted you bad. It had my number. Uh huh. <sighs> Just beat the shit out of it. I still say they're little teepee birds. Yeah, they kind of look like them. Little blue birds. Little blue birds that meet the creature from the Black Lagoon. Yeah. They do a little bit too much damage for my taste. Not too much more. But I would say. Have them do about 10 to 15 points of damage less. Yeah. This is still a starter dungeon. And you've only got wood and armor on. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad. Obviously, without the wood and armor, it would be a lot worse. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. I'd say lower it by about 10, 15, and you should be good. Let's beat the crap out of this thing before it casts whatever it was casting. Yeah, we don't want it to cast its spell. Third play. Yay! Yay! Mm, okay. Skin. And we leveled up, uh -huh. which is awesome. Okay, we're starting, we're starting to get small Emmy curative items. Yeah. I see what you're doing here. So we brought up the whole Emmy curative thing earlier. Yeah. I think if you point the player in the direction of nodes for stuff like board and mushrooms that will heal in me and stuff, we can be more forgiving. I still want you to lower the cost of those of those spells a little bit, but I think that if you say, hey, I can go pick mushrooms anywhere and it'll heal my ME, that's good. You see, without me knowing anything, I, I'm just going to assume never to use magic. Yeah. But now that I see there's a plethora, plethora yeah. of items to use, I'm going to be a little more inclined to do so. And I'm not going to read your manual, by the way. Players just don't do that. Yeah. Not anymore. Just give us the information in-game that we can do that stuff, and I'll be more inclined to use the, uh, the skills that you give me. With the the, um, the crafter guy yeah. that, that you encounter, yeah. that you can buy stuff from... He needs to specifically say, uh, hey, those those red glowing mushrooms, you can pick those, and there's other plants too. Go pick stuff and, and explore the world. Yeah. Because it was by accident that you just absolutely picked that mushroom. Yeah, absolutely. I thought it was just part of the background. Right. So tell your player what you can do Yeah. Um, through instruction. Obviously, you know, show, don't tell. So have a, another character explain that you can do something yeah. and I think you'll be fine. It'll fix a, a number of the issues I had with the mechanics. You can even have that little girl Jenna instead of talking about you know, she's catching insects. Yeah. You can have her uh, go right up to a, a mushroom thing and pick it. That's a great and idea. say, hey, I got a mushroom. Yeah, that's a great idea. That is, that is, that is, do that. Do that, Jane. Yeah. Okay, so collect four totems and return here. Provides with the correct totem. Desire, and we reveal the path to the essence. Okay. Three identical totems. Got it. Okay. Ooh, what is this? I don't know, but... Lizard man? No, it's a little, little rat. Oh my god, it's a ninja rat. It's a wolf bandit. <laughs> but Teal will forever refer to it as... Ninja rat. Ow, 106? Woo! And... How exactly is a wolf a bandit? How does that work? That's not a wolf, that's a rat. Yeah. Well, why? It's a ninja rat, but... Yeah. Hey, look at that. Treasure room. Small key. And check, check the barrels and the pots. Ha ha ha. All the crafting forever. Yes. Yes. 
Really good music, by the way, for the dungeon. Yeah. Fucking arse daggers. He had here my number. Come. He yeah. wanted me bad. They wanted you. All right, I'm gonna start <clears throat> essencing here. <clears throat> you ready, Dad? Yeah. Just uh, swallow the drink wrong. Yeah, it's a leash. That would be a dead arse dagger. Oh yeah. I probably shouldn't have used both furies, but eh, I don't care. It rebuilds pretty quick. Like, you've done a really good job of. Oh, I'm saving that for a boss. Holy moly! That's going for a boss. Wow. Um, you've done a really good job of furies building up really quickly. By the way, I know I said that earlier, but I really want to draw attention to that. A lot of the games that we critique, super skills, you know, overdrives, limits, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. They, they, it just takes forever for them to build up. With this one, I just, I have every reason to use them because they build up so quickly. Yes. What the hell is this thing? I don't know. I got a mystic fruit. Let me move! <laughs> oh, it's a bog. That's a bog demon. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Ah, save a point. This is not a very small dungeon. No, it's not. And I like that. Yeah. It doesn't I... need to be huge. Right, but it doesn't need to be tiny. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see if it balances. I should watch my step oh, here. Oh, I hate these things so yeah. freaking much. Because you will fall. Dude. I will. You're, it's okay to do... Okay, first off, it's okay to do these every now and then. Yeah. This is, that's fine, but what it's not okay to do is it's not okay to have it wind all over God in creation like that just did. Yeah. A sprouting seed. I don't know what that does. What is that? Where is it, honey? Do you see it? No. Key item, maybe? Bitch, key item. Crafting material? No. no. What maybe the not. hell is a sprouting seed? I don't get it. Huh. That's gonna need to be explained or something, because I'll just feel like I just wasted my time. Yeah. Going through this bullshit, which I hate. So, yeah. Yeah, if it's supposed to be an item used for a later quest, then I don't know. Why is it here right now? Yeah. Or key item it. Yeah. Something. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm thinking maybe, and this is just, again, I haven't finished this dungeon, but I'm thinking maybe four totems to complete it is asking a bit much for uh, an opening dungeon. What do you think? Yeah, I think it should be two totems. Yeah. Cut it in half. Yeah. Cut it in half. Yeah. And you'll be good. You'll still accomplish your purpose, your goal. Right. But... You're not overburdening as four is just a bit much. Yeah, it, it's 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 that it's that. There's a psychological effect that comes when seeing you have to accomplish a certain number of tasks in order to advance. Yeah. And when you're early in the game and you feel like you have to do a lot in order to advance, you're less likely to want to continue. It's purely psychological. It is. I do like the music in here though. Wait. That's a key door? A key wall? There's yeah, something flag. on the wall. I mean, that's... Fuck, we're just one day one. Whatever. The, bog demons aren't as badass now that I've leveled up a little bit. Yeah. Little peek. Still need to heal, though. Yeah, yeah. Healing is good. The cool thing here is that... And this is just so that for time, I'm spamming attack... Normally, when Teal and I play games offline, we're a little bit more judicious and using skills here or there. We're more strategic. Uh, obviously, that takes longer. It does. So, when we're recording, mm -hmm. we do this crazy shit. Alright, let's see. Your enemies will guide you. That's vague. Okay. That's too vague. I don't get it. Yeah. That's too vague. That doesn't mean anything to me. My enemies will guide me. Whoa! You just had... You just... That staircase appeared. Did I click on... Yeah, you stepped on a tile. <sighs> okay, I see what you're trying to do, Jaden, and I like it. Um... 
I like the idea that... That they, was too obscure! It was. The enemy's <laughs> going around an invisible tile that when I step on, the tile goes down, and I step on both, and it opens the door. I like that puzzle. The hint needs to be different. Yeah. The hint needs to be something about maybe your enemies step around... Something. I don't know. I'll think about it, and I'll get back with you on Discord later, yeah. but there has to be another way to word that panel, because that does not work. Maybe someone in the comments section will figure it out. Oh, shit. Whoa, it just went for you. Wow. You're like, dude, I'm going to kick your ass now. Keeping an eye on the tongue. Boy, they're not playing around either. They are not. They're, they're just diving right on in. They're going for it. There you go, I should be there. Okay, that, that should do it. Yep. All right. Of course, he's guarding the entrance, but I expect that. Okay, so let's Two unleash. Tweety Birds and a Ninja Rat. Thank you. <laughs> That's funny hey, you as like shit. That. that is funny as shit. All right, kill a Ninja Rat. Kill Splinter. <laughs> That did it. Yep. And it'll be built back by the time I fight the boss, because we got four of these totems to get, and not just two. I say, <sighs> revving that point home. Yeah, I really want some warm bread now. I know. Warm French bread with some butter on it. Mm. Sad part is, the bakery's not going to have that ready for about another five, six hours. Oh well, I guess I'll just have to settle for some ice cream. Mmm, poor teal. <laughs> Having to eat ice cream. Tell you what, I will never be hurting for dark crystals. I receive a small key. There we go, that's what we need. An advanced life potion. Ooh. I'm glad to see that breath, that exploration is rewarded in here. Uh, right? Like, how many games do we play where it's not? Too Straight many. up. Too many. Ow! It stung me right in the butt! That bee oh. could not get to me fast enough. Like, that bee was just like, I see him, I'm gonna get him, I'm yeah. gonna get him! Damn killer bees. <laughs> Oh. It's one thing I am not looking forward to, Teal, is the summertime. All the freaking arse daggers. Yeah. But you know, they say that killer bee honey is the best tasting honey. It, it is, actually. It's a, oh. Where did you. Uh, I mistook the wrong direction. Yeah, you did. Right here. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! Did I take it off his ass? I took it off his ass, didn't I? Yeah. You did. <sighs> you blocked it right off his butt. Bog Demon was trying to take a squat and... <laughs> yeah, well, now he's dead. Yeah. That'll learn him. Lord. And now there's his buddy. Yeah, he's gonna avenge him. Or something. <laughs> oh, this we is got cool. this, yeah. Yeah, this is cool. Well, you don't hurt for crafting materials. No, you don't. Nice. All right, so... New totems. My hard exterior protects the soft flesh. Okay. Oh! Oh, that's... Oh! Okay, so... Oh, okay. That's not the correct one. Yeah. Uh, but... Actually, that might be. That might be it. Let's have sprouting seed appear in key items. Yeah. yeah. My origin produces song. Nope. With the air, I produce music. Okay, it's not a bad okay. I crave fresh air and sunlight. Oh, that would be sprouting seed. Yeah, I think so. Yay! I saw that plaque up there. Did you read it? Yeah, it's pretty succinct. Either words the guards oh, pretending okay, to solve okay. their puzzle. Yeah. Blah. Yeah. 
definitely just watch it down to two. You can keep the size of the dungeon. Dungeon's fine. Oh, the dungeon size is fine, but yeah, uh, two, please. Yeah. Because this is going to get very tedious. It is, and tedious is not fun. No. Cool. I am digging the music, yeah. I dig this music. And there's a plaque. Oh, yeah. Let's read that. Let a direct view of the window guide you to the next path. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going right off the fucking... <laughs> my goddamn idiot! Probably. Okay. So, first off, these type of puzzles suck. <laughs> For us, they do. They really do. And I'll tell you why. Because Ugh. it requires exact movements. Yeah. Which is a more advanced skill. It's something you want to teach later on. The, I better watch my step windy path was enough. Yeah. This is too much for early in the game. This is a later on puzzle. You packed in too much complication too quickly. Yeah, four statues and now this stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's easy enough to solve if you have an idea of what you're doing. Your puzzle makes sense. I shouldn't have to solve it this early in the game. Well, well crafted though. I, I am giving you shit because of what I just mentioned, but this is well put together. My God, you just went through that in one go. That's what I do. I would never have figured that out. That'll lead us to the end. You're amazing. Oh, thanks, honey. All right, let's watch out for ninja squirrels and bog demons. Hey, you just run got into the ninja squirrel. Ninja squirrel. Yay! We're doing a hundred point damage at once. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Let's use Fury. Him. I mean, Baldric is like really low. Yeah, I'm gonna. He's in the yellow. Heal my boy. Let's see. Uh, on Baldric. Mm -hmm. Here, have some bread. Uh, stick it in his blade. <laughs> Yeah, then I'm gonna kill this bitch right here. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill him in the face. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> here we go. Another 119 points of damage. Balancing. Yeah, a little bit of balancing issues at this point. Dude, that was OP. Mm hmm. Yeah. Wow. Definitely got some balancing issues to work with. They're not terrible, but I really would work on your balancing. Yeah. No problem, it's not easy. I mean, shit. Okay. I have problems with it. Okay, um, let's go with... I'd love to be able to sort. I really would. Yes, uh, a sort function. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like that? Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, wait, they're healed completely because they both leveled up. Okay. Yay! Is that a thing? That is not a thing. Just a oh, God, they're hunting me down. Leave me alone. Oh, God, another level. To feed your enemies, reveal the path forward. Ow. You know, Splinter and his cousin Spike really wanted me. Yeah, they did. They jumped you. You killed the father. Seriously. <laughs> what? Did you just make... Did you just make... Did you just did... <laughs> Holy shit. I love this woman. Okay. Holy shit. Do 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 do
So exciting! Yay! Yay. Hey, wolf fur. Cool, let's kill these guys too. Come on, kill the enemies. Kill in the face, kill in the face, kill in the face. That I was like cool. that crit. Hey, what? Come on, Oliver. You can do better than that. Don't make Baldrick do all the work. Yeah. You gotta make Baldrick do all, all the work. All the work, all of it. <sighs> okay. It's <laughs> so cute when they jump in the air. Where's the way to... to the, okay, we gotta... Murder the shit out of everything is basically what the plaque's saying to me. Okay, well, we need to get our little essence thing. Yeah. Our magic flute or whatever it is. It's... Right. I don't know. I don't know. You know, it's, it's kind of... It, it is kind of an issue here. Um, I'm gonna check the journal, though, before I say anything else. By the way, enemy bars at the bottom are really good. Yes. I, I didn't comment on that earlier, but that's really well done. Do, do, do. That was good. Yeah. The fuck just happened? Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. You defeated all the enemies, so you got a secret chest. Yay. Okay, so quests. Okay, mysterious. Yeah, so... Okay, so that's that. That's Return Gen. Okay, we did that. Okay, so... Here's my issue, and I think it's just, it's been kind of nagging at me since we entered the temple. Yeah. Um, there's no quest going on right now. No, there's no quest. And other than Baldrick saying, hey, let's go check out the shrine, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, which I have an issue with anyway. Yeah. Um, I don't feel a direction. There isn't. And it's just, this isn't Skyrim. <laughs> no, it's This not. is a JRPG, so we need direction. And I feel that if you either have Baldrick kind of urging Oliver along, saying, hey, we got this, let's go here now. Hey, we got this, let's see what this does. That kind of thing. Yeah. You know, one of the best examples is in the Orc Arena of Time, whenever you as Link discover something, your little fairy Navi says, hey, hey, listen, and then gives you a clue as to what you should do next. Ah, yes. So it solves that directional thing. There's no direction in this game. Okay. We're just here because Baldrick wants to explore it. Right. Which is a piss poor reason in a world where everything's trying to kill you. I mean, they, they've mentioned, okay, there's more creatures in the swamp, yeah. but it's a little more dangerous. Right. Maybe the shrine has something to do with it. But right. there's no quest. Why is there no quest in the quest journal saying uh, something bad's happening in the swamp? Yeah. We need to explore the shrine and find out what the bad stuff is. 100%. Fuck just happened. Okay, it's a puzzle That's reset. That's a puzzle reset. Okay, so you have to put the pots on the switches. Let's see if I can figure that one out. Okay, so okay, one, and 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 now let's see. Uh, yeah, that one, that one. Uh, Point. Yeah, very good. Very good stuff. I'll take the treasure chip. Whoa. That's going to be in a battle. Is that a mimic? It's, it's a, a mimic! mimic. <laughs> I it's... haven't seen those in a long time. Let us know how you feel about this, Inazuma. We want your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> the mimic wants cookies. It does. It's a cookie mimic. <laughs> <laughs> I just beat the crap out of this thing. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, I'm okay with the Mimic doing 121 points of damage because that's what Mimics do. They beat the crap out of you. Yeah. Remember that one game we played where no matter what you did, the damage to the Mimic was one? Yes. I forgot which game that was, <laughs> but my god. Ah, oh, good XP, good amount of silver... Cool. I and the journal is updated with the mimic. I want to see it. Yeah. Peace, Jerry. Oh, the mimic. Mimic. <laughs> oh, I like it. Very well done. Ah, oh, here's another Yay. item. 
That's the real one. You receive a cracked bone. Okay. That's a uh, item for that first statue. Yep. Why is that reset? I have no I idea would have why the it's reset. That have the pots, yeah, have the pots be in the concluded section. Yes. Well, excuse me. Alright, we'll go this way then. Oh. <sighs> okay. It's the god pigeon. <laughs> Thank you, honey. That was awesome. Alright, let's beat the crap out of the one that just went or the one that's about to go? The one that's about to go. Think I'll catch him in time? Worth a shot? Worth a shot. It's worth a shot. Then that happens. Nope, didn't happen. Oh well. It is what it is. LOL. Yeah. <laughs> Yeet. YOLO. <laughs> Overkill. Yeah, take that. Ooh, that's the first time I've seen a bait. Ooh. I'll All take right. that. I'll take All that right. to bait. I'll up the ante here. I'm going to do some serious healing when this battle's over. Yeah, yeah. Baldrick not doing too well. I need to heal Baldrick, don't I? Yeah. Okay. Item. Let's give him some bread. Cheese. Give uh, him some cheese. Cheese. He wants cheese. Yeah. Actually, he's probably going to level up soon, so let's give his ass some bread. Yeah. Here, here's some bread up your butt. <laughs> and then the attack almost negates the bread. Yay. Useless. Man. That's all right. <clears throat> really? All wow. right, fine. Wow. Not a critical on him. Wasted damage. Yeah. All right, we got this. All right. Schmack. Schmack. Yay. Do, do, do. All right, so we got that. Now let's do some. He oh, and we're fully healed again. Baldrick, I knew Baldrick was gonna level up. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. That's cool that we can strategically use level ups instead of healing items. I love that. Uh, Kai, what's this? Oh! oh, ambush! Nicely done. Well played, sir. Well played. Very well played. Eh, I could fury, but no, let's save it. Yeah. You don't need it for ninja rats. Yeah, I'm good. At this point, my level curve is... I'm above the curve. And I feel it. I say as I take 122 points of damage. What armor does Baldrick have on, anyway? You know, I don't know. Probably wood. Or or the, or the a soft metal like bronze or brass. No, it's aluminum. Ooh. Ooh. Excuse me. And now we're on the third floor. Okay, um... Shit. At this point, your first dungeon is too long. Yeah. It's too long. And we still have to backtrack all the way to those statues. Yeah. Also, that needs to never happen again. I've bitched at other developers about yeah. this. Yeah. Open up all chests from one any direction. This is not The Legend of Zelda. This is Final Fantasy. So... You receive an odd key. Ooh. And what's this dude? Nothing. Okay. I want this dude to do or say something. This is, yeah, something needs to be there. Yeah, even if it's not a treasure or a monster, have them comment on that because that is so out of place. Yep, it's very out of place. And by the way, if I have to cross this chasm like in Last Crusade, I'm never playing this game again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. So, oh. oh, it's the odd key from back. All right, all right, uh, all right. I'm getting you. I'm getting you. Yay! Back Pay for backtracking. <sighs> Sorry. All right, you're gonna do something stupid. Yep. Do something stupid. Here we go. Not a boss. What was that? Uh -huh. 
Oh, shit. It is a boss. Oh! That's a demonic dragonfly! Alright. I don't usually see this happen in games <laughs> that aren't The Legend of Zelda where you fight a mid-dungeon boss. Yeah. Very well done. I actually like this. Listen Which, to that music! Very well done. Nice. Let's, uh... Use it all. Yeah, let's see what happens, right? Let's hit him hard. <laughs> That's a great ability. Yeah, it is. For bosses. Although, if you're going to have, uh... Mm -hmm. If you're going to have a boss... I'm sorry, if you're going to have regular... Uh, HP bars uh -huh. have the boss H the boss HP bar up at the top. Be consistent with your HP bars. Yes, is what I'm saying. Yes. Okay, let's heal. Uh, me mm -hmm. on Oliver. And Oliver, you can spend this turn while he's defending to heal yourself with some corn bread. Yeah, which I'm really craving right now. I know, right? Now let's beat the crap by this guy. Now he's gonna continue defending. Fine, we're gonna defend. Right back at you. Yeah, yeah. I'm not seeing an HP bar on this boss, and I really need one. Yeah. It's it's across the board. If you're gonna have HP bars, everyone gets one. If you're yeah. not gonna have HP bars, no one gets one. That includes your final boss. Although you could have your final boss hide his HP bar as, you know, part of a joke. Uh, you know, like the HP bar appears at the beginning of the fight and then he hides it. That'd be kind of cool. I'd love to see a game do that. Is this thing defending and I'm attacking? Yes, it it's, okay. attack it's defending and your attacks are doing jack and squat. Alright, let me just go ahead and, uh... Um... Just defend. Wait, yeah, I'm, I'm good on just HP. Just wait to defend until yeah. he decides to do something. Until he breaks formation. Yeah. There we go. Oh. You're not doing too much. Not really. With the regular attacks. Yeah, I better use some skills. Okay. So let's go back to skills and go to spell Fire Blast. I did a nice bit with him. Yeah, it did. And then, um. Let's have some bottled milk. Nah. Let's go a little bit better. Basic life potion. Nope, we're good. I'm just gonna go ahead and just, uh, I'm gonna yeet on him. Dual strike. There we go. Oh shit, everybody's casting spells. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait a minute. I'm not okay with this. I'm not okay with this. Win. Alright. That wasn't devastating. That wasn't that bad. But it gives me a sense of urgency, and yeah. I like that. Bitch. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, we give her the lower items first. Yeah, take care of your healing. Yeah, just a little bit. Try to keep them above 500. Oh, he's casting a spell. Fully. Actually, now we defend. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Venom. For the first time ever. Yes. I love it. Okay, antidote herb. See, on... that's how you do status ailment, guys. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. You give us our curative items first, and then you have an enemy later in the dungeon. Do it. Yes. There. See? So that way we feel smart. It's important for a player to feel smart. Wait, why am I still poisoned? Did I do something wrong? I, I used a healing item, right? I don't think I don't matter, did. dead. Doesn't matter, dead. Okay, yeah, Tome of Ice. Wee! Da -da 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 -da. Dark Crystal Journal updated. Tome of Ice. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. So we do. Mm -hmm. S. Dun Then we go to here. And we go to Essence. I thought you used it. There we go. Got it. Okay. So now I have ice. 
So what's really cool is that these abilities right here unlock as I have the ME to use them and as I fight. I really like that. Reorder a bit. Okay, so jump, fire. So as a combination of both using something, leveling up with it, and gaining the ME to use it, you get the spell. I like that a lot. I think it rearranged the order. Might have. Okay. okay, so let's heal up some. I think you rearranged the order of your skills. I did. But the game rearranged it after you arranged it. Oh, it did? Yeah. I didn't see that. That's... Yeah. Okay. It did. Ow. Check it. I will. Yeah, it reordered it after I reordered it. Yeah, it did. <laughs> I don't know if I like that or not, but it's cute. Um, I find it annoying. If I put something in this particular order, I want it to stay in that order. Teal has spoken. And you make sense, on. So, now we do this. This is the ornate key, right? What? Yeah. Yeah, this better be the end, by the way. Oh, I see. Cute AI. Old flute. There's, there's the flute. Yeah. Air to make music. Okay, so now we're going to shoot back and backtrack. <gasps> backtrack. Throughout a dungeon. Do, do, do. Backtracking, because <sighs> that's what I love to do with my time. Yeah. Backtrack. Woo. Mm. So much excitement. I'm not liking the long aspect of the dungeon. Yeah. For an opening dungeon, right? Yes, for an opening dungeon. All right, let's see okay. what the payoff is. I gotta go through this bullshit. <laughs> it gives us a matchstick. <laughs> you must strike the sacred matchstick at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hell's bell. Okay, here we go. Yeah. <clears throat> Engraving all the statues. My hard exterior produces a soft flesh, right? That is the bone. Bone. There's an engraving that states my origin produces song. Yeah. That is a mysterious feather. And the last one is the flute. The Smurfs and the Magic Flute. Yeah. Great animated movie, by the way. Done. Alright, give me something good. It shakes. Shake, 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 shake Sonora. Shake. Yep, body. there's it. There, it's crossing the chasm. But I can cross the chasm. But you it's, can cross the chasm. Right, yes. it's not like the invisible thing like in The Last Crusade. So, <sighs> uh, yeah. However, oh, I get a shortcut. Oh. I like that. Thank you. Yay! That brick is unnecessary. Um, da -da 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 -da. Scoot, 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 scoot. Oh. scoot. Oh, treasure. I receive a basic mystic potion. I'm going to have a boss fight. I don't know. You are. At the, at the, yeah, boss save fight. point, save point. Boss fight, make sure you're all equipped and everything. Yeah. And I'm you're good. ready to rock and, yeah. rock and roll. <laughs> Okay, so my stats are good. No effects. Stats. Yeah, we're not poisoned. We're not good. burning. All right. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Ha! <laughs> right. Because of course. The Guardians may have considered you worthy, but this is my domain, and I deem all intruders enemies of the treasure I guard. It's a tree. It's the Deku tree. It's a fucking tree. Whoa, it's got a teeth. Oh, look at the teeth. Oh, listen to that music. Great music. All right, <clears throat> let's make some shit happen. Okay, the burning times. Yep. First, I'm going to unleash Oliver's defendy thing. Yeah. Oh, that's his preparation. 
uh, animation. For some reason, it looked like it was poison. Poison is purple. With yeah. Bubbles. <clears throat> All right. Rebound and stomp. Because why not? Yeah. All right. Let's do some rebounding and then set his ass on fire. All right. So we go abilities, dual strike. I love this music so good. Yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> but it's damage I don't take, so... Yes, it is. Nice! Very well done. Very well played, sir. Okay, this is great. <clears throat> oh, I love this. I, I, I like the use of strategy here. Yeah, and it's... it's and, and in true... JRPG or video game esque format, uh -huh. I'm using what I've learned in previous fights. Yes. So I'm being tested based off of my own abilities and what I've learned instead of just randomly hitting shit until this thing dies. I'm watching for attack patterns, I'm keeping my eye out for changes in strategy. Otherwise, I'm using what I know works in the beginning stages of the fight. Very well done. Yeah, agree. Okay, so that's that. Okay. Because the last thing you ever want to do is have a fight where you're just spamming buttons and randomly shit happens. Yes. Have some AI to your enemies. This is good. This is, this really is good. real good. Okay, it's defending. Yes, now it's defending. So this is our time to, to heal and shit. Heal and shit, yeah. yeah. So we're going to heal with basic life potions mm -hmm. on Oliver on himself because he's relatively wounded. And now... He is going to heal with... Where's that goat cheese? There we go. Yep. Okay, he's casting a spell. Now, we defend a preparation of the attack. There we go. Good. Oh, yeah, that cut down a lot of damage. Very good. Now we can go back. Okay, so he can heal his magic. With basic mystic potion. Yeah. He can continue to attack with his dual strike. Oh, bearing an ability. That's oh, Baldrick. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, defense. Okay, okay, cool. So we can use this time now to heal our MP up yes. even further. So we use basic mystic potion. Basic mystic potion. Now he's going to probably do a charge. He's doing a charge. Yeah. So now we defend. Defend. And, oh. Oh, good, 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 good. Woo! Worked out to our advantage. Yeah. Okay, so now we can do a full attack. Baldrick is preparing. He's going to attack. Good job. And he may defend. So I'm going to try a fireball. Okay. Nope. Okay. We're going to defend we're good, we're good. Okay, defend. Hopefully we'll go after Baldrick. Yes, yeah. so it worked out. You know, a lot of people don't realize, a lot of times, these games, it really is a lot of it's pattern recognition, mm -hmm. if it's done well. It's pattern recognition and learning behavior of the enemy AI. And this is a very good example of how it works. I'm going to do my super attack next if he doesn't defend. Okay, he did a regular attack, cool. So now, Baldrick is going to do his Super Unleash. And I should be able to pull it off. Oh shit, please don't defend. Oh no! Oh no! Uh oh. Well, I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Good. Okay, good. Okay. And I'll heal next turn. Yes! Yeah! Woohoo! Woo yeah! Jaden, that was a very good boss fight. Yes, it was. It was engaging. I got to what I learned in the mini boss fight, I got to use. And it was fulfilling. Good job. <laughs> you have proven yourself, Protector. Thus, you may receive the essence. Huh? I obtained a green orb. What? Oh, my head. Because, oh, I'm going to now remember I was one of the two ones that stopped the cataclysm. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Indeed, if you concentrate, you can draw elements from the air to cast spells. 
But Oliver, it is important you understand the drawbacks of utilizing mystic energy. Not only does it wear on the body, but it can be misused if you... Aristus! You have to come back to... Something's happened. With... I must go. Stay here for now. And remember to sing. Dad! Okay, I take it back. He's not one of the old ones. He's some other son, and I like that. Yeah. I like that. He's, this is not just, oh, you're the reincarnation of... This is cool. Yeah, it is. My father was a mystician? That green orb, is that... No. It ain't possible. What? <laughs> what? I'm only guessing. Well, you need to bring us to Valica City. I'll give more detail later. Let's go back to my place. Okay, there's your reason to go to Valica City. Get rid of that whole bit of bullshit at the beginning of the game. Yeah. Like, this is just another day. We're all going to hang out. You're not going anywhere with the East Gate tomorrow. Let's train. Let's do some stuff. Yay, get some equipment. Whatever. Boom, boom, boom. Now let's go rescue Jenna. Now let's go to the Green Orb place. Get the Green Orb. Then we have a reason to go to Valica City. That's right. You receive a heart container. Ooh, the little your mom led. Yeah. And look, it's the exit. Thank you. Special yes. exit. Yes. Yes. Exit the sanctuary. Yeah. We're out. Wow. Um. Okay. What yeah. do you think? Overall, this is a really fun game to play. It's got lots of elements to it. Yes. You got a, a compelling story. Yes. And the crafting. I love the crafting. <laughs> so I am going to say that the story elements in the beginning that we were c criticizing, you do rectify that here. So just change things around like we mentioned. Yeah. Um, and... I'm sorry, but you need to have every able-bodied male going after that little girl. Yes, that's more realistic yeah. than, than what you currently have. Yes, it just... And, and this we've seen this in a number of games that we've critiqued. It just doesn't work when one or two people in a town, especially a small, close-knit town, village, where everyone's really close and knows each other, they're all going to respond as a family yes. to crisis. They are. So have everyone go after Jenna. Yeah. Um, including Oliver. Um, if you want Oliver to not be with the party, yeah. and that's totally understandable because he goes through the, the dungeon area by himself, then have him have one of his like flashbacks of his father or something at the opening of the dungeon. And Baldrick be like, are you okay, kid? And Oliver go, I'm oh, fine, just my head go on without me, I'll catch up. And yeah. then that way Baldrick and Jenna's father and the other men of the village go on ahead to rescue Jenna. Right. But then Bald Oliver gets his shit back together, goes through the dungeon by himself, maybe mm -hmm. leads some dead enemies on the ground to show that the good guys are leaving, leaving traction. True. And then when we get to where Jenna is, Baldrick is the only one left standing. Jenna's father, the mayor, Grant. I'm guessing Grant's the mayor. I don't know. Grant, the armor guy. Mm -hmm. They're all injured. They're all injured on the ground. You know, you know. oh, 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 and Baldrick is holding a sword. Oh, this may be more than I can handle. And Oliver comes in and, like a hero, mm -hmm. saves the day and proves that he can fight. And because he's proven that he can handle himself, Baldrick says, you know what? The shrine north, the monsters were coming from there. Ah, yes. Let's go investigate. Not like, oh, we're just trying. Let's go derpy derp. You know what I'm saying? I understand <laughs> completely. Yes, there really needs to be a more solid reason for going up to that shrine. Right. It, whenever you write a story... And put it in the quest journal. Thank you. When you're writing a story that has these linear progressions for the beginning of the game, mm -hmm. each step leads to the next. Yes. So it's like, we've completed this step, but now that we've completed this step, this next problem has opened up. Let's go there. We've solved that. Okay, oh, another problem has opened mm -hmm. up, leading us there. Yeah. That's how you... And so that way... There's compellingness until you get to the point where, okay, it opens up a bit. Now we get more exploration, which is usually your overworld yeah. or whatever. So anyway, other than that, I really like this. I like the game. Um, let me just recap some of the, the issues that I, I had. It's minor issues, but um, 
someone needs to point out that you can harvest mushrooms and other stuff. I read. To open yes. up the, the node thing. Yes. Because that we just guessed. Yes. Um, and don't have a sword available to buy in the <laughs> shop if you're going to give it to us in the doggone treasure chest. Yes. Because even though that is an optional quest, no one's not going to do a quest that easy at the beginning right. of the game. And if they don't do the quest, well, whatever. Shame on them. Yeah. I mean, you could also, if you really want to address that issue, have an inferior sword available for sale in the shop. Right. Okay? It's better than the wooden training sword, but it's not as good as that, um, you know, blade. The, the Muldron blade, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and if that Muldron blade is necessary to finish the temple, Ooh. then you could have a conditional string where if the player doesn't do the side quest, to get this sword before going into the swamp, after you return Jenna to her family, uh -huh. you could have a conditional flag where someone gives Oliver the next level sword. There you go. So that when you go into the temple, you're armed properly. Yes. So yeah, you've got options. Yeah, always. Uh, mapping is fantastic. Woo, I love your map, sir. Very well done. Beginning temple, beginning dungeon, too long. Straight up, half, mm -hmm. cut it in half. Cut it in half. Um, if you're going to have a Zelda-esque game with lots of puzzle rooms, uh -huh. which is what that temple was, then you need to have puzzles early on. Legend of Zelda always has a few intro puzzles in the intro area you're starting in. Right. Because you're going to have puzzles throughout the whole game. If, if this is not your intention to have puzzles throughout the whole game, cut the number of puzzles in the temple in half as well. Yeah. And get rid of that one particular puzzle where you're walking in the darkness and using the windows because uh, I'm not good at that. And I would be falling constantly and I would just, I'd just quit. Yeah. Because I don't have time to mess around with a game that does something like that to me. I think that the, uh, the one where you're walking along the, the one, one square ledge. The windy path. Yeah. The windy path. That is complex enough. Yes. Okay, don't yeah. go any more than that. If you really want to have your, I'll just call it the foliage puzzle. Mm -hmm. If you really want to have that foliage darkness puzzle, put it on later in the game. Later. And, and honestly, I would say that that would be an optional area. Yeah. If you go go along this, this crazy path and you get an optional treasure or something. Yeah. Please don't make it on the main path. Right, right. The, the, the whole point of the starting dungeon is to ease you into what you expect from the rest of the game. Yeah. And if my expectation now is going to be all of my dungeons are two and three hours long and I don't want to play a game like that. Oh, yeah. So anyway, other than, than that, uh, I love the world you've set. This is such a great world. It, the, the it back, is. The, yeah, the world building is good. It is a little... And not this is not a this is not a not a negative, it's a little generic. But that's because you haven't given us a lot to work with. Oh, okay. And I think okay. maybe if you take a little bit more of your lore uh -huh. as to why the Great Cataclysm and other things occurred, oh yeah, give us a little bit more. Like the old Visionaries cartoon back in the '80s, you know, magic appeared and Merlin like you know, appeared and the Cataclysm happened and everybody had glowing chests because. The technology level had steeped so high that magic came as a backlash. So maybe that was the case, that something happened so much mm -hmm. that this is a backlash. The pendulum was now swinging in the other direction. A little something, just so we'll know why the world is the way it is. Because I don't really know what I'm dealing with. True. You gave, you don't, yeah, we need a little bit more uh, to the backstory, the right. cataclysm and, and what happened right. there. Uh, yeah, so I have nothing more to add there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and your characters are fine. Oliver right now is a little flat He's in generic, my mind. Yeah. He's very generic. Uh, I don't have a problem with him, but I'm not into him. Baldrick has got personality. Baldrick has personality, definitely. Yeah. So figure yeah. out how you can make Oliver more interesting in the beginning. Yeah. But overall, this is a really fun game. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed uh, playing through it. And Agreed. I'm definitely going to play through this offline and just go crazy <laughs> on the crafting. Agreed, yes, Teal. And then let, let Jaden know what you think. I um, will. I'll let you know. Uh, and as far as the balancing goes, with the exception of a little points here and there that we were mentioning during the video, your balancing is great. Yeah. Loot drops, fan freaking tastic Man, you've got that covered. So, really good. Uh, everyone else watching, in the comments, let us know. Let 
the developer know yeah. what he can do to make this game even better. Um, and uh, we'll see if we can't make this the best game it can be. Yeah, absolutely. All right, everyone. Well, if you like what you saw, leave the smack down the like button below. Subscribe to our channel. Consider supporting us on Patreon. Connect with us over Discord, Facebook, Twitter. And we will see you in the next video. See you next time.